name's Lena. I'm a anaesthetic trainee, but at the moment I'm doing a fellowship. Um, so I've just taken a year out of um, training to do a educational fellowship. My name's Cosmo Skur. Um, I'm an anaesthetic registrar. My name's Will Buxton. Uh, I'm an ST4 anaesthetic registrar at King's College Hospital. My name is CJ Ochupoi. I'm an anaesthetist who came in via a sponsorship route from the Royal College into the United Kingdom um, from Nigeria. My name's Lucy Williams. I'm a specialty doctor. I work in Swindon and I do anaesthesia and pain medicine with a 50-50 split in my job. My name's Dr. Jonathan Sadler. I'm a anaesthetic fellow down in Brighton. There are two aspects of military training in anaesthesia that differ from NHS training. You have to do a rural medical module for three months. I'll, I'll be off to Zambia next summer. And also you have to do a military medical module which incorporates training for the uh, vaporizers which we use, uh, management of mass casualties, management of massive hemorrhage, etc. To be a specialty doctor you have to have two years of training in anaesthesia. So for most people that would be having your two years of core training um, and then um, most people would continue into specialty training after that. My subspecialty is in pre-hospital emergency medicine and that is the aspect of working with ambulance services or air ambulance services to provide both anaesthesia and critical care to acutely unwell patients. Being an anaesthetist to me personally, it's like giving back to the society and finding that, that you can actually contribute and give people a reason for leaving. Safety is paramount and you need to communicate and actually get in touch with everyone and realise that you're not just on your own. One thing I love about anaesthetic training compared to other specialities is the fact that we do get a lot of one-to-one -one training with our consultants. The thing I loved about anaesthesia was the responsibility that you had for one patient uh, to, and the massive changes you can make for that one patient in a very short period of time. I'd say the best thing about my job is the variability that every day is different and every anaesthetic is different and it has so much individual interaction. The best thing about my job is seeing the immediate difference that we can make um, and actually having such an important role. Um, it's a very varied job, so one day I'll be on labour ward, the next day I'll be um, on the emergency list, another day I could be in pain clinic, so no day is ever the same. The challenges are that sometimes, particularly with the on-call and emergency work, you're, you're often having to juggle lots of competing demands on your time, so you don't always feel totally in control of what's happening to you. You're, you're, you're a little bit at the mercy of what's coming through the door. I think the most useful thing I would say is take every opportunity that comes your way. Don't say no to anything, because you might not get offered it again. If you haven't considered a career in anaesthesia, I would say, without doubt, go and do a two-week uh, taster um, in anaesthesia. Um, whether or not you decide to pursue the career afterwards in anaesthesia, you will learn skills uh, such as uh, airway management um, and um, drawing up and administering drugs uh, that you wouldn't learn in other areas of medicine. My career in one word, I would say it's, it's a blessing. I would describe my job as entertaining because you work with great people and it's varied. I'd say it's dynamic. Anaesthetics is a really varied job. You're the expert on airway, breathing, circulation and pain management. You also work in intensive care. You work all around the hospital with all different specialities, from uh, psychiatrists to cardiac surgeons. I absolutely love it.